welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle now before we jump right into it I would just like to say if you please subscribe to my channel it's the red and white button that says subscribe and also if you click the notification bell it'll give you every time I upload a vlog video and I upload on both channels at least between three and five times a week so there we go and thank you for doing that now let's jump right into it now according to breaking travelnews.com the seven fabulous latest travel facts so here we go starting with number one emirates and fly dubai are going to renew code share partnership wow yes this sounds really interesting and I think it's going to be really good for the travel industry especially the United Emirates following the progress of the reassumption of passenger flights the two Dubai based airlines have revived their strategic partnership to offer customers in increased connectivity uh, increased connectivity so wow that's absolutely amazing and also customers that are flying from other countries from dubai to other places in the world can get connections as well and um, so yes um, i really hope that goes as well as possible and yay i'm really excited and I, again i would um love to know that outcome because um again the partnership again it's obviously worked because they're go going to renew it so moving on to united airlines permanently waives domestic change fees wow yes that, this is good news united airlines is permanently getting rid of change fees on all standard economy and premium cabin tickets for travel within the united states effective immediately yes wow that is really good so anybody that's traveling from one side of the United States to another say from New York to Seattle um, or Los Angeles to New York or Orlando then if they wanted to change the date or time then they'd be able to do that um, without getting um, a domestic change flee slapped onto them so wow um again well done for united airlines and uh, i really hope and um, they get more customers uh, traveling that's really exciting well done and i hope it goes um as well as possible and and it again it's exciting for passengers um also number three atlantis the palm hotel or resort complex is to offer free covid 19 tests to their guests atlantis the palm in dubai has revealed it will now be offering free in resort covid 19 testing the pcr test will be available to give guests who stay there five nights a long basically a, a longer during their trip so yes um again something again is coming 
really good out again out of this COVID-19 because you're, you're able to get a free test if you stay at the Atlantis de Palm. So again in Dubai which is really good news and again I hope um, passengers I'll be able to stay there um, again longer um, and fingers crossed just say <laughs> now number four America Jazz prepares for its debut in the United States on the Mississippi River in the USA for 2021 now this is a river cruise it it's done absolutely fantastic and um, so they've been testing it out and um, again I really think at uh, fingers crossed um, I hope it goes as well as possible um, cruising down the Mi Mississippi Ri River uh, next year so again it will be an interesting debut next year now number five, Round Hill Hotel reopens to guests in Jamaica. Yay, that's great news. So again, you will be able to go to Jamaica, but you will have, have to, if you come from the UK, you will have to quarantine because it has been put on uh, the UK quarantine list but nevertheless um round hill hotel is reopening to guests so that's excellent news and i really hope it goes as well as possible fingers uh, crossed now number six other cruises uh, are delaying the return until november 2020 but it, again, it's probably um, to get uh, more safety precautions in place, etc. Um, but I really hope, fingers crossed, that they get um, back from November this year onwards. Now, last but not least, Qatar Airways is to return to Mogadishu, which is the capital of Somalia. Uh, this year so we really hope fingers crossed that goes as well as possible and anybody that wants to make a connection with Qatar, uh, Qatar Airways uh, to uh, coming from other countries to go to Mogadishu in Somalia then they're able to do that so yay so that's really exciting news um, that things are getting back um, and um, again it's not all doom and gloom in the travel industry there's lots of good news um, like Qatar Airways returning to Mogadishu and the Roundhill Hotel reopens to guests in Jamaica etc so again it is giving a positive outcome in my opinion so thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you tomorrow for part three of the latest travel news worldwide love you all love speaking about travel and lifestyle so thank you i love you all viewers and subscribers and bye for now and most important take care and thank you very much thank you bye